large crowd today is a testimony to the interest in CRISPR and next generation sequencing. Each of today's speakers is an individual with whom we at Synthesa have had the privilege of working. We are honored to play a role in advancing the role of CRISPR and NGS as central technologies in the field of molecular biology research and in the development of medical applications for these technologies. The first thing that actually came to my mind is uh, how lucky I am, but actually all of us here in the room are. I think it's really an historic, and I would say, I would even dare to say, a, a exciting time to uh, work uh, and being a biologist. What we really are going to do today is, I, I think, demonstrate what kind of things one can achieve with these two amazing technology, uh, CRISPR and NGS. I'm specifically going to uh, do it around gene therapy. And just before it, uh, I'm uh, going to start with my talk, I just again want to really thank Synthesa and IDT for putting together this, this day. What I'd like to share with you today uh, is uh, how CRISPR has become uh, such a game changer, specifically in the generation of genetically modified animals. We've come to believe that bioinformatics should be done locally. And so we've added a team of expert bioinformaticians in Jerusalem, which means that if you now bring us an NGS project, we can have uh, an expert talk to you about your project before it starts. What I'd like to do is uh, begin to review some of the uh, aspects of what we consider to be the, the right approaches to do genome editing that will have high efficiency and high fidelity. Since uh, I think that many of the uh, audience here are uh, germline geneticists, I would like to speak a little bit about the difference between somatic genetics and germline genetics. I hope I can impress you on the vast uh, knowledge space that we're dealing with here in attempt to actually under understand the clinical consequences of changes in the genome. I'm going to talk about two things relating to NGS today. The first thing is about adapters and how you can use the different kind of adapters for what libraries you make depending upon what you're trying to achieve with it. And the other thing is our new method for doing uh, very complex multiplex pools for amplicon based NGS. Our goal is to indeed push forward our understanding and improve the health security and of course economic development of Israel and hopefully will also affect worldwide.